previous episodes, I did a fast business plan, outsourced the creation of 500 animations, came up with my brand and branding, and now I need to make a website to sell them with zero pounds left to spend, meaning I've got to make the website myself. So just to ruin this video for you, I'm not a pro web designer, I can't code. I probably commit multiple offenses with my websites that Google hates, as well as the users. But when you start a side business or even a new business and you don't have tons to spend, you have to do what you have to do to get by. So my mission for this website is to make it an MVP, a minimum viable product. So by that, I wanna keep it as simple and as fast to make as possible so that I can actually start selling the products. Now, I really don't have any idea at all if anyone will buy my animations care or if it has any sort of future, so I just need to test the waters before I invest extra time and money into this. If it works and I can grow it, I'll be investing in a new site and e-commerce platform, but until there's traffic, it's not a priority. So based on the fact that I'm not a pro web designer, I'm here to show you what I did, not tell you. Please seek professional help if you are short on time or have no idea. I made my first website when I was a kid, it wasn't good, and they still aren't, but I can get by. Really, it's my goal with this video to ensure nobody ever makes a landing page or website that looks like it was built on ClickFunnels ever again. You know what I mean. So your website is yours. It's not shared with anyone else. You need to make a good first impression and design is a massive part of that. So for me, because I can't design amazing websites, I've got to keep it simple, not go crazy with design and try my hardest to focus only on presenting the things people care about, which is a massive battle in itself. I also need to play my strengths, which is making video. So the page is going to be very video heavy to make the right impression. In the previous episode, I spoke about brand and what I wanted this business to be known for. The words fun, human, and provocative stuck out. As a result, I chose my colors and fonts and some images to use from that. I'd recommend watching that video, by the way, because this is pretty much part two of it. So the first thing I did was to write the content of my site on a Google Doc, starting with the headlines that needed to feature. I then ordered them in a way that I thought my users might care about. Now I've got no idea if they will. I'm going for the ready, fire, aim model here. So software companies do this. Instead of trying to make something perfect, they make it based on their expert opinion and then release it and get tons of feedback from the users to make it work best because you'll never guess right. I don't kid myself I'm smart enough to even have a good guess. So just dived in. Once I had my titles, I wrote bullet points as to the things that needed to be under those titles, then turned it into the copy. It's worth saying right now, I have no interest at all in trying to rank this on Google at the moment. If you need to, spend way more time on your copy than I did. I'm not kidding myself, I could rank for anything with a new one page website. SEO confuses people so much. As an MVP or new side hustle, don't distract yourself with it initially. Making a website that sells or making it clear how you differentiate is probably more important as you can always drive people to it in different ways. And an SEO is a never ending long term project and it's a lot of work, a lot. With my copy complete, I then needed to design the layout. Wix and Squarespace give you these really quite stunning templates nowadays and you can fill it in with your copy and add images for a low cost. Now, I don't know how good these sites are for the long term. They will make the right first impression with your visitors. I've been using WordPress for years for my other businesses. It's something called Elementor, which is a fantastic option for visual building. Well, I think it is. A few months ago, I rebanded my production company and rebuilt the website as part of that with the help of Devon, who is someone I always go to for marketing help. Instead of making a new site, I copied the entire thing, deleted all the pages and changed the colors to suit my new brand to save time. So setting up a new WordPress theme can take a long time. This was just a much easier and faster way to just copy the base of it. Then usually I'd hop on Photoshop and design the layout, then build it. Again, didn't have time as I'm doing this very early in the mornings and at weekends and at night, so I had to be realistic. Now Elementor has some cool templates you can adapt, so you don't have to start from scratch. There is a free version, but I would say there's more of a learning curve using it than Squarespace or Wix. So now it's just a case of putting the colors in the copy, a few images, and leaving space in my videos. And that's kind of it. it. Took me about 10 hours in total. The next thing was to find an e-commerce platform, and I went and made a mistake, which I promise you I would share my mistakes with you. So I chose a platform called Kartra. It's not really an e-commerce platform. 
It's a very cheap marketing platform. You can build membership sites, landing pages, sell products, but you'll see what I mean in a sec. Create affiliate programs, use it to build an email list, use marketing automation. It's like a version of HubSpot, which I paid 99 pounds a month, or 99 dollars a month for, compared to HubSpot, which is probably about 600. The thing is, it's only gonna get me by for a bit. It's not a very long-term solution for what I need. Right now I have one product, which means I can use their checkout, which in all fairness, I think is really good. And it has this cool feature called a bump offer on it, which means at the checkout, when someone buys a product, you can just try and upsell them something else. I don't have anything to upsell right now, but it's good to know. So the issue isn't this, it works very well, but that it's not a shopping cart. So when I have multiple products to sell you, you have to buy each individually instead of adding lots of products to the cart and then checking out with them. Now it's not really a short term issue. I can get by and because it has everything else I need for a small cost, it works for my MVP model. But I think I should have looked for longer other options because when I change it, it's gonna be a pain. Hopefully I'll just pay someone else to say it. So a quick review of Kartra. It's clunky, a little confusing to start, but idiot proof in some places. Having used Infusionsoft for years, I picked it up okay, but I think first time users might struggle. The same is to be said with all of these platforms though. So if you wanna try it, there's a link below. They have a free trial period. I think it's good, but not quite right for me. It enabled me to create email sign-up forms, a checkout, an affiliate program, and if you want to sell content or courses, you can make membership platforms and log in with reoccurring monthly payments that are pretty smart. There's a lot you can do. My point is it's good for the money and an MVP, but not something you can scale. I mean, I'm sure you could, but I don't think I'd want to manage hundreds of thousands of people on it. Adding that to the site is easy, and that's about it. We're ready to sell. So let's have a quick look at the site and I'll run you through my thought process. You'll notice it has videos on. I didn't cover that in here. In the next episode, I'm gonna cover making promo videos and video content to promote this brand. It's finally a topic I actually consider myself an expert on to talk about, and I'm gonna talk about things that might surprise you because I don't actually think video's that good. You'll have to subscribe and come back for episode five when I unpack that, and I probably shouldn't say it because I own a production company. So yeah, the site, let's have a quick look. The top says what it is and underneath the result you'll get. Now people will argue you need to start with a headline that shows you understand the issue your visitors have. I don't think that's always true. I'm just getting to the point here and straight away you'll notice my big pink button. You'll know why that's pink if you watch the previous episode on using color. Like I said, have a look at it. The video to the right is a video I expect pretty much nobody to click on ever. I just put a funky looking thumbnail on it to give some color because if I'm honest, it was the fastest thing for me to do. Below that is an auto playing video. Now I advise all of my clients to never do this. The reason I did it is because I felt like people want to see the animation straight away and an image just isn't the same. I also know I can make videos that sell way better than websites, so I went with that first. By the way, this is the same video that's at the top of the page. You can double up your videos if you want people to find them, there's no harm in that. The next is some information that is again repetition from the top. I wanted people to try to get what this is already by the time they get here, so it just reinforces the benefits of the product and what's inside. Then there's another video, and nobody watches this. I can see the data, it was a mistake. I need to make the pink button below it the main thing to see so that they click on it because inside you can actually see the 500 animations rather than watching nine minutes. So my thought process was people could skim through. Pretty much nobody after a month has hit play on it and I think it's hiding the button below which takes you to the page where you can see them easier and it's gonna be more helpful. I'm not sure how to represent this best yet though. Any ideas on how to show the animations without taking up tons of space? Are more than welcome. And then there's some testimonials. I don't like these, they look poor. I just needed something to show that these are legit. And again, another video which I took from Rob Balasabas talking about the product on his live stream, which is great content. Thanks Rob, I love that. Then we move on to how the animations work, a question people will have pretty early on. I didn't have time to make loads of tutorials, so I wanted to keep this very short sure, as it should be as simple as drag and drop. And then I included a demo that you can download to test. Now my logic tells me to put this behind an email wall and then use marketing automation to make sure they stay in a funnel. And if they don't come back and buy and they've used the demo, then email them. But my heart tells me not to be annoying and just to let them have it, and use it and not my heart one. Then it's by the pack showing in a chart and you can see the price and the things that are in there. And underneath that, there's some FAQs too. That's it. I had a written about us page now, uh, which I just wanted to have as a placeholder really. I plan on adapting that.
So the thing I like is that the conversion rate after the first week was 4.94%. So that's 4.94% of people who found the site bought. I was expecting 1%, so I'm really happy with that. Things I'm not happy with, I don't know where to start here. There's too much video, it loads slow, it lacks the human part of my branding I wanted to capture in episode three. There's not enough proof and also examples of the product being used because it's new. It's too empty, I don't think it will convert cold traffic that well and it doesn't look established. All of the conversions came from affiliates and my existing network, so there was already trust there from the people who saw it promoted. The random people discovering it might think it looked cool, but I think it needs a lot of work. So I'm gonna wait and see how it goes. I'm not fussed about making tons of sales right now. I need to iron out the bugs and issues first. So some purchases are very helpful and they give me a chance to work out what's gonna go wrong and then I can drive more traffic, hopefully. And that's my super simple website. As I said at the start, don't copy me. This isn't advice, it's just showing people behind the doors and that actually you can sell products online from an MVP. Admittedly, I'm not a professional, but I have been playing around with these things for years. If you've never done anything like this at all, I'd just say, go and pay someone to do it straight away. If you want to chat with my go-to marketing expert, message me on Instagram, it's ed.underdog, or email me, hi at theunderdogcollective.com, and I'll introduce you. I've sent him tons of clients, so honest and reliable and good, which is really rare in marketing. <laughs> in the next episode of Starting a Side Hustle, I'm going to talk about video marketing, my promos, ad content and why I don't think it's that good. So hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this. I'd also love to hear from you in the comments if you have any feedback on the site or have any ideas of what's missing or how to make it clearer, that'd be super useful for me. Thank you for watching.